Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are enjoying good health. Welcome to the SST class of second standard of lesson 2, Houses We Live In. In this chapter, we will discuss the different houses and what type of material we require to build these houses. The objective of the topic for today is to know the different types of houses. First of all, I would like to tell you the important terms on page 10. Number 1. House. A place to live in. Number 2. Pakka house. A house made up of bricks, cement and iron. Number 3. Kacha house. A house made up of bamboo, mud and straw. Now see the pictures of different types of houses. Number 1. Pakka house. A house made up of bricks, cement and iron. Number 2. Kacha house. A house made up of bamboo, mud and straw. Now it's reading time. So students, you all open your book at page 10. Lesson 2. Houses we live in. As we all know, what is the meaning of house? A place to live in. Why do we need a house? We need a house to live in. In. Now it's a reading time. Priya is Sachin's aunt. She lives in Canada and is on a visit to India for a few days. Now underline few, write down the meaning sum. In this lesson, Priya is Sachin's aunt. She lives in Canada and she is on a visit to India for a few days. The family was having their morning cup of tea and discussing the earthquake that had recently occurred. Now the family was having their morning cup of tea and all are discussing about the earthquake that had recently occurred. Now underline discussing and write down the meaning to talk about something. Underline earthquake, write down the meaning movement of earth surface. Underline occurred and write down the meaning happened. Why can't we build houses that do not break? Asked Sachin. We cannot make unbreakable houses, but we can surely make stronger ones that do not break easily, replied his aunt. Now Sachin asked, why can't we build houses that do not break? And his aunt Priya replied, we cannot make unbreakable houses. Underline unbreakable and write down the meaning impossible to break. But we can surely make stronger ones. Underline stronger, write down the meaning powerful. That do not break easily replied his aunt. Now underline replied and write down the meaning answered. Can you tell me Sachin how many types of houses are there in which people live? Asked Daddy. Now Daddy asked Sachin about different types of houses. Sachin, people live in big houses, small houses and tall buildings. Now Sachin replied, people live in big houses, small houses and tall buildings. Daddy, the houses that we live in are pakka houses. These are made of bricks cement, concrete and iron. Now see the picture given in your book. This is Pakka house. A house made up of bricks, cement, concrete and iron. The meaning of concrete is given on page 10 at the bottom. Now this is a Pakka house. It is made up of bricks, cement, concrete and iron. As we all live in a Pakka house. They are very strong. Pakka houses are very strong and protect us from the hot summer and cold winters. And Pakka house also protect us from the hot summers and cold winters. As we all know, how does a house protect us? A house protect us from heat, cold, rain, thieves and wild animals. Now underline protect 
and write down the meaning safe. But in villages, many people live in houses that are made from bamboo, straw and mud. They are called kacha houses. But in villages, we all see kacha houses. It is made up of bamboo, straw, mud. They are not strong. Kacha houses are not strong as compared to pakka houses and can break easily. That means kacha house is breakable and pakka house is unbreakable. So students, today I have read till kacha house. I have discussed the meaning of kacha house and pakka house. I will discuss further in the next class. Till that, you have to read the page 10 and also learn and write important terms on copy. Thank you. Have a nice day.